Welcome everybody. So this is uh, my experiment with uh, importing from uh, Speed Tree, creating a tree there, importing it to Houdini, and uh, run it through Vellum Solver, and come up with this uh, animation of a tree that's being affected by the wind. So some of its leaves being uh, detached and moved away. This is how it goes, and uh, this is from Sweet Tree. So we have the initial tree, we have the main trunk, as you can see, and the big branches. After that, the smaller branches, and the little branch here, and the leaf, and the uh, leaves as you can see then I exported uh, from file export where is it export mesh as FPX and I went to Houdini so this is a render frame from V-Ray I used V-Ray this time to render it out and this is the scene so I have a couple of grid A cam and the V-ray light that is the sun. I went down to point one, and this is the imported oak. And uh, you need to use the speed tree uh, importer. This one, and you will choose which tree. After that, you can choose uh, which uh, renderer you want to use. Principal shader, mantra, V-ray, chip. So let's say chip. It give a fail, but anyway, uh, it gives me an error, but I will investigate it. This one, let me see here. Let me really, yeah. So we have FPX shader, but uh, I think it's not updated. Service shader, FPX service shader. So yeah, I think it, it has an error with the material of the redshift here. I will look at it later on. Anyway, so back to the main object level. So this is the FPX. This is the V-Ray material. Already imported to the texture. Now, the main file is here. I'll start from the top. This all being imported with FPX with the grouping for the material. I remove the material, put it down here. Of course, it's a V-Ray. I tried to add the uh, V-Ray uh, texture for the OpenGL, but it's not working. Ah, v vortex. This one. See, it's not updating. Clearly, it will uh, show the color. Okay, anyway, so here we we'll go with the null. So here we we'll make a split and we took the main trunk and the branches and we left the leaves alone. So in the trunk, I just selected the main uh, trunk, split it, and I add a group for the base. And uh, I added it conform. And here I used the first uh, couple of them. The first one is uh, tetrahedral stretch, and I calculate uh, according to the variance of the thickness, and I give it very high stiffness. Then I added another constraint, just a cloth constraint with high number to make it very stiff, and I included it in the first Willem solver. So this is the result. Inside, I added uh, a wind with very small uh, amount of force. In the second branch, I took all of the 
little and medium branches I fuse them so I, uh, I need to get it point is being uh, infused same thing I added a tit <coughs> and first I added the uh, tetrahydrate volume with uh, lower setting not like the main trunk then I added another the, the distance along the edge also I connected the output of the first volume solver to the collision geometry third constraint is, uh, is for the bend and I give it uh, five uh, value also and also volume attach so it is attaching as you can see to the surface of the main trunk with high stiffness and then I run it through the solver also there is a wind force inside with a uh, higher value So they are attached to the main trunk and being affected with the wind. The third branch is the leaves. Here I group them. I was experimenting with a couple of this attachment, but later on I added the medium branches as a collision geometry. And here I made it as a cloth because it looked like a cloth. No need for uh, expensive simulation. And I'm attaching this branch, uh, this leaf to the branch. Here, I'm also adding a constraint according to the distance and a constraint according to the bend. Then I'm solving it, but inside I have a pop wind with a higher force. So, where is it? I'm outputting a stretch uh, output. The bend, and the attachment. I'm putting the breaking a stretch according to the distance with point one. So after that, I merge them all together. For the camera, so this is the merged one. So, this is the uh, flip book or uh, the play black bay blast of the simulation. So, this is the main track because this one is uh, fixed or bent to the ground. And here is the, the attachment according to the distance. look like wind after that I added a point deform I took a time shift of the first frame so it's frozen there as a wrist point for the point ethic and this is the deforming bones so it's transferring uh, all of this movement to the main geometry here and here we added the material so if we make a, a render IPR so this is a render output let's close it here in Vire I'm using uh, CUDA with uh, NVIDIA I went down uh, low with the setting with the global emission brute force because it's an exterior scene depth of 2 I made it and this is the outcome Thank you for watching and uh, thank you for the support.